just like that. Yo, I'm back with another shrimp and extravaganza One Piece set two Paramount War. Set three is probably coming out soon by the time these videos all get uploaded. But last week we were talking about Qigong, and I thought I'd talk a little bit more about it. I gave a kind of very brief overview. But one of the things I mentioned is that the yin yang symbol is very important in understanding how all this stuff works. So I thought today I'd talk a little bit about the yin yang symbol. I'm sure you all are familiar with it. It looks like two fish like dancing and chasing each other's tails kind of thing. But the thing that's important about the yin yang symbol is that there are relationships that like govern yin and yang. So nothing is ever really like permanent. That's an important one. Just because something is yin doesn't mean it's always yin forever. Swaddle. Um, it's just yin in relation to what is yang, and yang is relation to what is yin. Now they have like, uh, you know, descriptors where you could look at one thing and say, okay, yeah, this is more yin, this is more yang, but the relationships of them are make it so that the yin yang descriptors basically describe anything that's in our concrete reality. So anything that like exists in our world, like sun and moon and day and night and hard and soft all that stuff is like that is defined by the yin yang relationship and it's not that one is better than the other or one is worse than the other it's just that one cannot exist without the other so there's no real like good or bad when you're looking at these things it's purely just relating one to the other through you know their uh dynamic properties towards one another whatever you want to call it um but the one of the things that's important is understanding the relationships of the two so uh, one that's really uh, everybody kind of knows is I think, you know, yin exists within yang and yang exists within yin. And if you look at the yin yang symbol, you can see that little dot. There's like the white dot in the in the black fish and there's the black dot in the white fish. And that's kind of just saying like, you know, the one is not purely it. it. Um, they are they have features of each other within themselves because they make each other up. The second relationship is that the extreme of one, it slowly starts becoming the other. So, you know, if you take like the longest day of the year, June 21st, the days slowly start becoming shorter after that. And if you take the shortest day of the year, December 21st, the days slowly start becoming longer after that. So that's just a relationship that at the extreme of yin, it slowly starts becoming yang, Magellan. And at the extreme of yang, it slowly starts becoming yin. Um, and that is kind of consistent throughout a lot of things there's there's a lot of interesting stuff like i don't know if you've ever touched really hot water and it feels cold that sort of sensation um that would be like a yin yang sim relationship in that sense and another one is um they're never permanent and they're always changing so though one thing is yin to another thing yang they may not be that in another way so like the sun would be yang to the earth would be yin, but the earth would be yang to the moon that would be in so um, and the third is that they're always kind of moving forward in one direction. So if you take all these relationships, they kind of parallel with the four dimensions we exist in, which I think is pretty interesting. There's just going to be an altar or a secret in here. So I'm looking for it. It's either Uta or Kuzan. I would like to pull a Kuzan. I have a lot of Utas. Probably have the same amount, but Kuzan seems a little bit more useful these days. Um, and yeah, if you look at those four relationships and you think about them relative to the dimensions we exist in, they kind of parallel pretty well. So. If you're ever struggling breaking down a situation, having a solid understanding of the yin yang relationships kind of helps you maybe not push push too hard in one direction so that it doesn't yield the opposite effect of what you're going for. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> anyway, that's a shrimp. Thanks for coming by to check it out. And we'll be back next week with more exciting shrimp adventures. Sang Kyu, Gozaimasu, and I'll see y'all next time. Twelve hundred bucks in that four minute walk. Oh, that's a big one. No way, are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure?